The Westphalia by Airstream combines superior road qualities and outstanding design with the demands of a luxurious and comfortable motorhome. The Mercedes-Benz 2.7-liter, five-cylinder CDI turbo diesel engine boosts capacity to 154 horsepower, provides more torque at 244 pound-feet, offers a smoother ride, and significantly reduces fuel consumption, which averages 22 miles per gallon depending upon driving style and vehicle load. The combination of all that power with the 500-pound tongue weight endows the Westphalia with a 5,000-pound towing capacity. The Assist Maintenance Monitoring System allows intervals of 10 to 20,000 miles between oil changes under optimum conditions. The LP gas tank, which supplies fuel to the gas stove and warm water heater, is permanently mounted under the curbside of the Westphalia. The tank is manufactured to the highest safety specifications and should only be refueled professionally. The exterior awning, with casing to match your vehicle, can be released to create an outside living area or easily drawn back for travel. The three gallon capacity warm water heater can be adjusted to various temperatures and is situated beneath the cover in the rear curb side of the vehicle. There's plenty of externally accessible storage at the back of the vehicle. A multitude of external connections add extra comfort and convenience to campground visits. On the road side of the vehicle, there are sockets for an external TV antenna, a cable telephone connection, a 110 volt shore power supply with 25 foot cable, and a permanent water connection. The separate furnace exhaust for the diesel-fired auxiliary heater is located on the road side of the vehicle, below the side wall, and in front of the rear wheel. Also located at a comfortable filling height on the road side of the vehicle is the lockable fresh water tank, which holds 26.4 gallons of water. The drain valve for the fresh water tank is located directly below the fresh water inlet on the vehicle's road side. The gray wastewater tank holds 18.5 gallons and the black water sewage tank holds 9.6 gallons. The wastewater outlet connection is situated in the rear of the Westphalia for quick access and ease of use. This van-sized motorhome provides built-in livability down to the last detail. Well-designed storage throughout the entire vehicle enables comfortable and organized travel. There's plenty of room for large-sized baggage under the seat bench, as well as a roomy closet fully equipped with storage compartments and a clothes rack. The closet is easily accessible both from inside and outside, and is designed to prevent baggage from toppling when the vehicle is in motion. A built-in compartment for valuables provides a secure place for personal belongings. The Westphalia features a complete onboard wet bath. The basin faucet doubles as a handheld shower, and the toilet is flushed electronically and has a separate sewage tank. Decades of engineering experience and the maximum use of limited space can be found in every detail of the kitchenette, which provides an ergonomic workspace featuring a spacious sink with warm and cool water, a 2.1 cubic foot cool box with custom food storage containers, a gas stove with two burners, and a 110 volt microwave oven. The seat bench transforms into a comfortable double bed in a few easy steps. The Westphalia is equipped with a second full-size double bed in the roof alcove. The upper bed even offers the luxury of comfortable bed springs. The rotating front seats are another of the van's practical and unique features. When rotated to face the rear, they convert the vehicle's midsection into a cozy living room. The eating table requires minimum storage space when traveling and seats four when opened. Screens and blinds on all windows provide comfort and privacy, and the windows can be opened for maximum ventilation. The electrical system includes interior halogen lighting, an electric water pump, as well as an LCD TV with integrated DVD player that can be operated by remote control. 
Electrical power can be supplied by the 110 volt external connection or the internal 12 volt network. The vehicle's 12 volt network is controlled by one main switch, which is located next to the sink and relies on two rechargeable auxiliary gel batteries. The Westphalia features a remote-controlled, rain-sensored, electric glass pop-up roof for use when the vehicle is stationary. The remote control for the pop-up also operates the interior lights located to the left and right of the roof hatch frame. The central control display panel, located in the cab above the interior lamp, manages the diesel-powered auxiliary heating system, which stores up to three pre-selected time settings. It also monitors fresh and wastewater tank levels, operates the cool box, and displays battery voltage and capacity. Available accessories, such as a surfboard holder and ski rack, make the Westphalia the vehicle for today's upscale adventurous lifestyles. The electric glass pop-up roof with remote control is one of the Westphalia's very special features. The glass pop-up has a rain sensor that signals the roof to close when moisture is detected. The remote control also operates the neon lights located to the left and right of the roof hatch. The Westphalia's bench seat transforms into a comfortable full-size bed quickly and easily. Begin with the driver and front passenger seats pulled to the forward-most position. Then pull the bench seat forward. Next, fold the armrest upward and support the bed cushion with the support bar. Now, press the seat cushion release lever Pull the cushion forward, unfold into a horizontal mattress, and your comfy bed awaits. The Westphalia is equipped with a second full-size bed beneath its spacious roof alcove. Simply push both slides inward and swing the flap down. Then pull out the bed extension and adjust the cushion into a full-size mattress. The roof bed will accommodate two people and is accessed by grasping the handles and using the built-in steps to reach the top of the cupboard to climb into bed. The roof bed also features a child safety security net and storage nets to hold small items while you sleep. Always make sure before starting your journey that the roof bed does not contain heavy objects or passengers. You may be far from home, but you're never far from the comforts of home with your convenient Westphalia kitchenette and cozy living dining area. The eating table stores conveniently beneath the roof bed when traveling, yet converts to a sturdy table in a few easy steps. Simply hook the eating table into the security strip, fold down the table leg, and position the table leg securely into the seat rail. The practical and unique 360-degree rotating front seats convert the van's midsection into a living room or dining area. To rotate, simply move each seat's rotation lever in the direction of the arrow and rotate the seat to the desired position. Your vehicle manuals provide in-depth information about instrumentation and control identification, but here is a quick run-through of important safety equipment, shutoff valves, and detectors. The multifunction indicator is used for such functions as switching between the odometer and trip meter and activating the assist maintenance computer. These are the carbon monoxide and smoke alarms. The LP gas detector functions only when the 12 volt network is switched on. You'll want to know where to find the fire extinguisher, the gas shutoff valves, the LP gas tank with main shutoff valve, 
and the air conditioning switch panel. The auxiliary batteries are maintenance free but need to be charged with the 110 volt connection at least every four weeks or when not used for an extended period of time. They are located behind the seat bench covered by a flap and a screw secured cover beneath the upholstery. Vehicle fuses are located in the steering column with additional vehicle and living area fuses, relays and diodes located under the driver's seat and behind the bench seat above the auxiliary batteries. The 110 volt connector is externally located on the roadside of the vehicle. The ground fault circuit interrupter and circuit breakers are located in the circuit breaker box behind the lowest flap on the left hand side of the kitchen cabinet. And the 12 volt main switch is located under the removable drip tray in the kitchen along with a water pump main switch. The central electronics control and display panel is located in the cab above the interior lamp. It allows you to monitor and adjust important motorhome functions such as water supply, electricity, battery condition, auxiliary heater and cool box. You'll want to refer to your owner's manual and motorhome supplement for in-depth information about the central electronics control and display panel, but here's a brief overview. This is the fresh water level indicator. When the lowest bar disappears, there are about four gallons remaining in the fresh water tank. The battery operation display lights up when the living area is being supplied by only the 12 volt network. Flashes when the battery voltage falls below 10.5 volts. This area displays battery voltage, the clock, and the temperature in degrees Fahrenheit. The 110 volt connection and charger lights up when connected to shore power with the ground fault circuit interrupter switched on and the charger in operation. It flashes when there is a problem. The auxiliary heater indicator lights up when the living area heater is switched on. The 18.5 gallon gray wastewater tank level indicator gives sensor readings on how full the tank is and flashes when the tank's remaining capacity is down to about two and a half gallons. The timer for the auxiliary heater lights up when it's switched on and the lighted numbers 1, 2, and 3 indicate which of the three auxiliary heater pre-selected temperatures is switched on. Battery capacity appears in 10% increments as a bar chart when the battery is in operation and for about five minutes after a consumer is first switched on. And the cool box lights up when the cool box is first switched on or if it is malfunctioning. The central electronics control panel push buttons operate in an integrated fashion with each other, with the display panel, and with the multifunction indicator to allow you to display and control various vehicle and motorhome functions. The following is a brief overview of what the control push buttons indicate and how they operate. To display the time, press this clock symbol button repeatedly until memory positions 1, 2, and 3 are no longer displayed. To adjust the time, press and hold these two push buttons at the same time. Then press the up and down buttons to adjust the time displayed to the correct time of day. To set and activate the pre-selected times for the living area heater, press the clock symbol push button repeatedly until the desired memory 1, 2, or 3 is displayed. Keep the clock symbol push button pressed, then press the up and down symbol buttons to adjust the memory time. When you release the clock button, the current pre-selected time has been saved. Repeat for the other two memory times as desired. To switch off pre-selected times, press the clock symbol and the on-off symbol push buttons at the same time. Now, no pre-selected time is activated. The on-off symbol button allows you to switch the cool box on and off when used in combination with the cool box symbol push button. It also allows you to switch the auxiliary heater on and off when used in combination with the heater symbol push button. Press this up arrow symbol to display the interior temperature. 
or use it in combination with other push buttons to increase values. Press the battery symbol push button to display battery voltage for the 12 volt electrical system. This heating level display symbol push button allows you to switch the auxiliary heater on and off when used in combination with the on off symbol push button. It also allows you to adjust the living area heater when used in combination with the up and down symbol push buttons. The cool box symbol push button allows you to display the set cooling temperature of the cool box. When used in combination with the on off symbol push button, it allows you to switch the cool box on and off. And when used in combination with the up and down symbol push buttons, it allows you to adjust the cooling temperature in a range from minus 4 degrees to 68 degrees Fahrenheit. Press this down arrow symbol button to display remaining time of the auxiliary heater in the living area. Or use it in combination with other push buttons to decrease values. The Westphalia offers good value with its steel unibody construction, automotive air conditioning, electronic tachometer, and speed control. The Westphalia must be serviced at a 5-star Dodge dealer to prevent voiding the warranty. The transmission is serviced at 80,000 miles and the dipstick must not be tampered with. The Mercedes-Benz motor keeps operating costs low with efficient powertrain, excellent fuel economy, 30,000 mile service intervals and 10 to 20,000 mile oil change intervals. The Assist Maintenance Monitoring System calculates oil change intervals based on driver-specific data, thus saving you time and money. The Westphalia was designed with the safety of you and your family in mind. Active vehicle safety features are standard and include electronic stability program, brake assist system, electronic brake force distribution, acceleration skid control, and anti-lock brake system. Standard passenger safety features include dual front airbags, height adjustable three-point seat belts with tensioners to afford improved safety and comfort for the driver and front passenger, and head restraints for all seats. And when you're enjoying your Westphalia's motorhome capabilities, knowing that there are onboard safety features such as a fire extinguisher and safety detectors for smoke, carbon monoxide, and liquid petroleum gas will help you and your family feel safely at home. The Westphalia is powered by a high-performance 2.7-liter, five-cylinder inline turbo diesel engine from Mercedes-Benz. The sturdy five-speed automatic transmission features overdrive and tip-shift technology. Stability is ensured by independent front suspension with front and rear stabilizer bars and heavy-duty shock absorbers. The power-assisted rack and pinion steering boasts a compact turning radius of only 21 feet. And when properly equipped, the Westphalia has a 5,000 pound towing capacity. The Westphalia offers all the utility and comfort of a luxury car with the convenience of a motorhome. The front bumper step offers easy access to the engine and front windshield. The front doors open nearly 90 degrees with a step-in height at a comfortable 17 inches and headroom at an amazing 7 feet 9 inches. Every control and switch is ergonomically positioned. The driver's seat is three-way adjustable and the driver and front passenger seats rotate, allowing the vehicle's midsection to become a living dining area. The Westphalia's standard power package includes remote keyless entry, power windows, and power exterior mirrors, making the Westphalia both comfortable and easy to drive.
the Westphalia by Airstream is synonymous with styling. Like the well-known Airstream travel trailers and motorhomes, the Westphalia's design is efficient, user-friendly, and durable. Its one-of-a-kind styling adds a distinctive identity both inside and out, making your Westphalia one of the most notably unique vehicles on the open road. It's important that you have your vehicle serviced by a five-star Dodge dealer in order to prevent voiding the warranty. However, for standard maintenance, just pop the hood and brace it with the hood support to check important fluids and filters, such as the oil dipstick and oil fill, the battery, the DOT4 brake fluid, the engine coolant, the power steering fluid, the fuel filter, the oil filter, the transmission fluid, the air filter, and the windshield washer fluid. Always use fuels and other fluids specified in your Dodge Sprinter owner's manual to prevent voiding the warranty. The Westphalia uses diesel fuel only. The fuel filler neck is located on the road side of the vehicle, behind the fuel filler flap to the right of the driver's door. The flap can only be opened when the driver's door is open. Turn the cap counterclockwise to remove and fill, and always remember to replace the fuel filler cap and close the flap after refueling. The convenience of the onboard kitchenette and bathroom is made possible by the 3-gallon warm water tank, 26.4-gallon fresh water tank, 9.6-gallon black water sewage tank, and 18.5-gallon gray wastewater tank. An outside shower connection is located inside the rear right door. Simply press the shower hose onto the fixture until it engages, and you press the switch to turn on the water pump in order to experience the convenience of cold water rinsing. Always be sure to turn off the switch and disconnect the water hose from the outside fixture to prevent unwanted dripping. You'll want to read your Dodge Sprinter Motorhome Supplement to learn more about the water supply, but here is a quick overview. The lockable freshwater inlet is located at a comfortable height on the roadside of the Westphalia, with the freshwater outlet located directly below. To completely drain fresh water, you will need to locate the drain valve lever located inside the right rear door. Up is open, down is closed. Then follow instructions found in your motorhome supplement. The water pump main switch is located next to the 12 volt main switch beneath the removable drip tray in the kitchen. To turn on the water pump, first turn on the 12 volt main switch and then turn on the nearby water pump main switch. The gray wastewater level indicator is located in the central electronics display panel. The sewage level indicator is located in the rear roof box beside the wall cupboard. Depress the switch to activate the sewage tank sensors. The tank should be emptied before all four LED lights are activated. The outlet for the sewage and wastewater tanks is located in the rear of the Westphalia for quick access and ease of use. Empty the black water sewage tank first and then the gray wastewater tank or empty both tanks together to take advantage of discharge water power. On the roadside of the vehicle, there are sockets for an external TV antenna, a cable telephone connection, a shore power connection with 25-foot cable, and a city water supply connection. There are two separate electrical circuits in the Westphalia, a 12-volt direct current system and a 110-volt alternating current system. 
the 12 volt network in the living area is supplied directly by the auxiliary batteries, which are recharged by the 110 volt network. The 12 volt network is also supplied indirectly from a 110 volt network connection to the battery charger. After turning on the 12 volt main switch, the 12 volt network will supply power to the cool box, control and blower for the auxiliary heating in the living area, the water pump, interior lighting in the living area, electric glass pop-up roof, central electronics. None of these will operate with the 12 volt switched off. After making a 110 volt connection and switching on the ground fault circuit interrupt switch, your motorhome will be supplied with power for the 110 volt sockets, the auxiliary battery charger, and the living area air conditioner. The Westphalia offers window blinds and screens to allow maximum privacy, ventilation, and protection from the great outdoors. The cab curtain hangs freely from press studs. The dual pane tilting windows can be opened 90 degrees. Simply fold out the catch lever, tilt the window to the desired position, and turn the sleeve on the support bar to fix the window in place. Always remember to close and lock all tilting windows and roof hatches before moving the vehicle. The fixed dual pane windows in the living area on the curbside are equipped with roller blinds. The dual pane tilting window on the roadside and the side roof windows are equipped with roller blinds and bug screens. The blinds and screens join magnetically to work in tandem so that you can easily adjust them to allow as much screen or shade as desired.